What's going on everyone? Juicebags here and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2 in another Chaos 1 Mastery Build Guide. Just about done with all of them as uh, working through all these masteries and we have found our way to Barry Bastille with careful planning, no defenses are destroyed, budget cuts, no defenses are upgraded, and protect your jewels, the main core took no damage. Now, since we can't do any upgrades, I am going to bring along an EV2 with some weapon manufacturers this time around. Uh, I'm going to go with defense crit damage, no increase in power transfer. We'll probably end up using uh, some proton beams as well, defense crit damage, frosty beams, and power transfer. Uh, going to go with the lava mancer walls. No upgrades, only repairs, so I want some healthy big old fatty walls and the lava mancer is going to dish them out fortification crumbling stone and deadly strikes on those guys and i'll probably fill in the gaps with just some kind of random stuff so let's go ahead and get things started here i'm going to start off with a little sky guard action right here basically going to do my standard issue build with some safety features let's uh get just crazy on the wall since we got all this du and then let's just get right to the proton. And I'm half tempted just to really go ham on the proton beams, but I don't want to waste. Don't want to waste any DU. Let's go. Uh, let's go six nodes on this lane. That gives me pretty darn decent coverage, and hopefully, that will be enough to hold the lane. Now I am going to use a reflect beam as we we can't allow any cores to take any damage so right here at this particular entrance uh, we know sometimes the bads like to come out and uh, shoot their little javelins over at our wall which in turn goes through the core and causes unhappy times so in light of that I'm gonna go with a reflect beam right just like that and that should hopefully take care of things and then what do we want to do here i think let's go with uh let's do the same kind of concept with the proton beams i'm gonna go ahead and double it up into that little double v shape that i like to use and then I'm gonna throw in some weapon mans hmm how many here seems like that is an awful lot Let's just go with the six nodes there. Seems pretty darn decent. And uh, you see we've actually chewed up about half of the available DU now. Now let's go with another Sky Guard right here. Let's throw, uh, let's throw one in here as well. A couple more walls. Now a big part of using the walls is also the petrification it's really really strong so uh, definitely a solid wall to use besides just the ridiculous health that petrify goes a real a real long way let's see let's go uh, how many nodes do we want here how many is that that's three four let's go ahead and go six nodes again on this lane as well and that should lead to some pretty darn nice coverage now what do we want to do here? You know what, I think I'm just going to throw a snake right here. As uh, that will really help things out there on that lane. Let's go ahead and get crazy with the walls here again. Now a big part of uh, the massive <laughs> walling, of course, is from the massive DU expenditure. So, you know, we've got the DU. I'm not going to be shy. I'm just going to go for it. Let's uh, proton again oop not enough mana gotta go collect some mana here real quick gonna do the double v once again right there on that lane and let's just go something like that and then let's go uh let's just go five nodes in this lane i think anything else may be a little bit of overkill not that i'm against that <laughs> And that only leaves me a hundred left. I think I will shave 
this, you know what, let me just move this wall here out just a touch. That gives me 160 for that far lane. I'll tell you what, let's do the same thing here. We'll just single wall it right here and hope that nothing is going to run by. We've got the mall. That's a pretty, pretty big old fat wall. So hopefully we won't have any issues there. Doesn't look like anything can run through the crack here. It's pretty darn close though. I think it's going to be all right. And then here for this lane, let's essentially just do the same thing. We'll go, uh, we'll go with just one wall like that. That's going to leave me 160. That's actually going to leave me a little bit lighter than I'd like to be on this lane. So let's go with a single pro time, something like that. And with 120 left, let's just ham it up with some flame ours. And that'll take care of all the DU. Now um, I can't upgrade, but I can repair. So it's gonna be all about spamming the repairs here. And we're getting it all done. See how it goes here. This, uh, this of course is a big map. So any catastrophes could be just really, really rough. And you know, depending on how the bosses spawn on this map, you may or may not have an easier time with it in that fashion as well. Let's get the freeze going here. Freezing and petrifying. And just keeping an eye on the mini-map. Of course, uh, like I said, can't upgrade. And that's going to be a challenge, but we can repair. The uh, Shatter combo, of course, uh, is any crushing damage against frozen enemies. And it doesn't insta-kill everything, but it does insta-kill many, many of the little guys. Now I can't upgrade and I'm kind of concerned about only having that one PDT or one uh, Skyguard there since it's going to go unupgraded. No point in even really grabbing that mana to be honest with you, but I do just want to do a quick check. I see nothing on the map that's yellow, so that's a plus. I know the walls uh, didn't really take too much damage and that could end up being uh, a bit of a savior for us. Plop. Gotta love that shatter. It's really strong. All of these little guys will definitely insta-kill insta from the shatter, no doubt about it. And you see there's that javelin thrower I was talking about. Now those uh, javelins will hit the core. So where he is standing down there, that eliminates that problem having that reflect beam right there. But I am gonna wanna keep that thing healthy. See, we got quibs coming from down here, it appears. All the way down at the bottom, actually. Little table flip to the face will take care of him. And here we go into wave three. So, you know, one of the hardest parts of this challenge is not repairing or not upgrading as it's just such habit um, running around and just spamming upgrades. It's so easy to fail this map and the no repair maps just from doing which is good, good habits to have in game. And that is of course upgrading and repairing. Still looking good. And I am so worried about these flyers though. I'm hoping this all works out with them. Big pack coming in here. Now, if I remember correctly, when uh, Omni and I went through this map on on race day, uh, we used two sky guards on each of the flyer lanes, and that really is not necessarily a bad idea. Get this ogre handled. I 
There we go. Ogre down. We got a Malthus. That's never a good thing. Because of these little skellies right here that like to do the reverse direction. I think I may let Malthus just die to uh, the weapon manufacturers over there. And just keep an eye out down here since I do just have that one snake. Of course, if uh, any skellies spawn and go down this way... All they have to do is hit that core. All they have to do is touch that core. And it's good game. Man, I'm so tempted to just run up there and kill it, though. Let me do it. Run, run, run! Alright, there we go. Okay, so we lucked out on that one with the Malthus. No uh, major catastrophes on that, uh, that far core. These flamars are definitely uh, putting some work in. No doubt about that. Let's just go ahead and let it fly here. I can do these upgrades as it's running. Love me some shatter. Now the shatter will work off of two things. First off, the pole smash itself is crushing damage. So any frozen mobs you know, we'll take that additional uh, shatter combo from the crushing damage, but in addition to that, fall damage is also crushing damage. So if something gets frozen and knocked up from the pole smash, it's the exact same thing. It's still going to uh, dish out the pain as they come back down. Let's see, we got an ogre. Alright, over down. We got a plaguing hawk as well, and that's in that far lane all the way over. Flyers look good. We've got a, a few yellow defenses on the map now. Let's uh, just come put a hurting on the plaguing hawk. And there we go. A couple more flame R upgrades. And here comes wave 5. 472 mobs. So uh, quite a few mobs on quite a large map. That uh, reflect beam put some work in that time too. Holy smokes. Let's see, Skyguard looks good. I just do want to do one quick round of repairs over here. As I don't want to lose a, you know, a beam or something. Actually, it wasn't that low. Let's just go ahead and let it fly. Now, doing the spawn camp like this, though, even though there are a ton of mobs, it goes relatively quickly. You can get this map over with pretty darn fast if you choose to. And I am going to give a little bit of an assist on these flyers here. For wave five, I don't want to have any last minute flyer issues. Just get these guys all wrecked. Looking very good. Down to 300 bombs left now. Ooh, why is there something showing right on the core there? That was weird. There was a uh, little dot on the mini-map right on top of this core. However, looks like it was actually nothing. Alright, we got an ogre on a wall now, and that is just way, way over there. But I'm going to have to go over and give it some attention. Oh, man. Oh, the respawns. Give this sky guard just a little help on my way down. I've got to get this ogre and uh, old Gribs down as quickly as possible.
little table flip stuck in the air there. And then all we've got left is Gribs, and it looks like one other other mob up there with him. Oh, it's like Kelly on here. Gribs is actually way down at the bottom. Hopefully those walls can hold up until I get down there. That's the benefit, of course, of using the Lava Mancer walls, that extra health. you got plenty of time to run around, especially if you're trying to do the map solo. It can be quite the challenge on these boss lanes to navigate the whole map. But there we go. There is a five-star win on Chaos 1 Mastery Buried Bastille. So thank you once again. Uh, click that like button and please subscribe to the channel. And I will be back soon with more DD2. We'll see ya.